Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now I've got sunshine in here. <laughs> um, my curtain's back open and it's real early in the morning. Well, I like it to be open, so it's very early in the... Well, when I say real early, the sun's still around there near the, my window, which is... Probably I haven't done the video that hour for a long time. It's only, only, it was a quarter to nine, actually. It probably should have went somewhere else by now, but I'm sorry. I've got, gone over this way as far as I can. Um, still working on the room, haven't actually done much because the last two days have been other life things going on, so we had to, yeah, so, um, we've just had to have a bit of a break now, I've got an itchy leg, <laughs> that's handy, so yesterday I received a few goodies from a friend of mine and I, you get inspired, don't you, you know, so here we go, this is what I'm doing today. I'm playing with these things that she bought me, and um, so here we go. She bought me some. Well, she gave me some fabric. She shared me some bits and pieces, um, and uh, I thought I'd really like to do a couple of different things. So I said, I'm going to make a bag. You know, like a little bag you can probably put in your. Um, Put in your journal, I guess, or whatever you want to do with it. Um, won't be just one, won't be an ordinary bag. Geez, I'm good at cutting straight, aren't I? Crikey, that's bad. <laughs> does that matter? You know, does it really matter? And I do want to do this big, I suppose I can because I've got to have a seam, don't we? We're going to do this by hand, by the way. We're going to sew, okay? But, um, when I've done when I've done this, I'm going to say now I didn't want to really do that because I've another plan in mind. But anyway, we'll just get finished doing what I'm doing here first. I got to cut along here, and I want it to be straight. And I'm going to turn on my timer, and I'm going to use the ruler because I need to make that reasonably straight, don't I? We don't want it to be skew. If I want to line it up with that bit there. And put a line across it with uh, one of these. Right. Ooh. There we go. So I haven't put up a video for a couple of days, and I'm sorry about that, but I didn't have enough made. And it was just today, Thursday. Well, Tuesday I was um, feeling a bit off, so I didn't have a, a day. I didn't do much, only did a bit in the room here, and then m probably made more mess than what I uh, envisioned. <laughs> you think you're going to do? And um, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I, I'm here now. Okay, so I've cut that too short. Right. I cut this out because what I'm going to do is my vision of this will be. A lace front now and if you haven't got a big enough piece of lace you can join bits together so I'm going to show you how to do that because I've got I have got big enough pieces of lace but I want to show you how I'm going to join those bits and then of course there's this piece here now um, it's a piece of a vintage curtain material can't see through that enough though I feel like I wanted to be able to see through it a bit better than that so she gave me a bit of this. Now I do love this sort of thing, as you well know. Yes, and holy things. And that'll look really good in a journal, wouldn't it? In a vintage journal. Which I'm thinking about doing next. I don't know yet. We'll see how I go. You can't can't put anything up for like say anything for my ideas because I don't know what I will change to then. I could change my mind. I like that too. But today I will show you how to put pieces like this together, which is not hard. I cut them out. What have I done with them? I cut them out with um, the idea of putting them on a, a background, ah, which was smaller, I think. Now I've got it all here, as usual. Of course, when you're looking for a whole heap of things, you can't find what you want. Isn't that the truth? Um, that's not it, is it? I, had, I thought I had three or four pieces, now I've only found one. I wonder what I did with them. <laughs> How do you me? Well, see, there's also this sort of thing I could use that, look. See, that'd go on there, wouldn't it? 
really nicely. I was actually going to make a prototype so I could show you and then I could not find a needle in my lounge room because I didn't leave any out there. I kept bringing stuff in here and I've brought it in here. Brought them all in here so I've set myself up a, a needle and pin cushion to take back out there with me because if you come up with an idea or you think you might like to make something you want to have something to be going with and I don't know what I've done with the rest of this. Never mind, we're going to we're going to do it. We're doing it anyway. Righto, we've got one. I'm going to actually cut this back a tiny bit so I don't miss out on having anything. I don't. I want it to be all um, covered in lace, and I don't want to have to cut my lace back any further than what it already is. So today I'm going to try and make a couple of videos because tomorrow the lights are going to be off. They're going to turn off at nine o'clock power and not turn it back on till four in the afternoon how rude is that i told you once before i'm no good when you turn the power off when, when i go on a road trip i pipe some throttle i hate it when i haven't got control of what's going on around me okay so now i need a few pins um because i need to pin that i think so if you just put see a lot of people might just have pieces of lace, okay? So what I'm going to do, this is to show you how to put these sort together because you've got a, a scallop, scalloped edge there and you've got this edge here. And I hope that this sun's not balking you too much to shine in there. So what I need to do now is just lay these here on the top of one another like that. Come back this way a tiny bit, on. Lay them down like that and make sure it's straight. You probably could just put the edge of make sure when you've got a bit that goes up that you've still got it connected to there because you've got to sew that on there okay so let's pin that bit there and look at it <laughs> look at it a bit because this is something you could you probably could hold it in your hand and do it but you probably wouldn't you know you want to get it right don't you so I'm going to fold it over for a minute which I can't do because it's a pin in my way and see if I've got both these pieces level here at the end. They're not bad, are they? Okay, so we're just going to get a needle and thread. I've got it pretty much the same colour as the, um, the background. Okay. My cat's been playing up something frightful today. He was really well behaved yesterday, and for some reason this morning he's pouncing around everywhere. <laughs> running on the furniture <laughs> tried to get up on the back of the cupboard had two paws on there couldn't wait couldn't listen went sliding down the <laughs> back of the cupboard because the cupboard's facing into the other room like and he went sliding down there but he's got sore toenails now he's got to go for his injection he has to go for his injection i think he's got to have his teeth cleaned because i can't do them um, he said that he wishes the dentist lots of luck with that, but I think the I think the dentist might have to give him a little sedative <laughs> to do that. I don't think he can. He's had bad enough when you're trying to do his toenails. When we've got to do his toenails for him, he plays up something frightful. You think he's getting killed or something? And make noise he makes, and you're not hurting him, and you you know, and you try to reassure him that you know everything's okay, but. If you don't think that you're going to pick up every piece, you know, you keep looking and make sure you've got all, the, all that that's going along there. And this way you've got your little edge across the top of this, okay? And I'll show you, I'll explain that in a second. See this piece here? You've got that little frill there then. Looks nice, doesn't it? So if you can get any bits of lace like that or you've got any, you know, this is what you can do with it besides putting it on trims and things. You can do lots of different things. Make heaps of goodies. I um, was finding find a bit, my room was a bit, um, getting me down a tiny bit because it's, I got, oh, when I was in here the other day, a lovely time, but I made a mess. I really made a bad mess. And um, anyway, my friend said she was going to come back and help me. She stayed with me yesterday while Jeremy went to Orange to, to the ear doctor. Now he can hear again, isn't that good? <laughs> he won't be going, I at me all day. Although I did say to him, oh, is it all right? Can you hear better now? And he went, eh? And I thought, oh, Jeremy, really? <laughs> you know? <laughs> but anyway, it was cool. I missed him, though. Anyhow, 
um, so Michelle come and stayed with me and she wants to help me do this room but oh, she came in and looked at it and says you know she got ideas but I I still have to do a bit before she comes back because she, she's busy till next week I'm, I've got to make sure that I just have enough things that I need to use close by and the rest of it's going to have to go over the other side of the room or I'm, I'm, or I'm donating it a lot of it so and I have to do the draw for my um, bag and bag me grab you know me rubbish bag I've got to do the draw for that so I better better get me act together sometime today I hope or tomorrow when I get around to it I promise I will do it probably at the weekend okay give me till the weekend because today I've got to do some videos so I'll have enough one or two so I can have them put up today and tomorrow and maybe a sad day because if there's no power tomorrow which you need to be at least I need to have one or two one at least in advance so I want to try and do a few, a few today give you some ideas of things you can make that's a good thing rang me brother yesterday for his birthday me little brother me little brother he lives up in Queensland, and our my nephew, his his no, second his second boy, is getting married on Saturday in Melbourne or Victoria. Is that him? Yeah, I know. And they closed, it, but they've opened the borders. But Peter had they had everything booked, and then they closed the borders, so they unbooked things, and because they didn't know when they were going to be able to go down there because they thought he might they might shut again so now he can't go because well he's right up the top of Queensland it's a long way down there and they're worried that they might shut well they had to stop postponing last year they were going to get married in May well I can't go there and I've told them not to win up not invite me because it's too far for me to go but Peter's not very happy because he can't go now and neither can one of his his eldest son because he's got work and he's already asked for time off before and now he can't do it so I don't know it's just things that you know, happen don't they but oh well we'll all wish him happiness and his life with his new good, good friend your girlfriend and he'll be right he's a lovely boy he really is he's the most wonderful person always had some sort of a attachment to him for some reason I don't know he's a lovely child oh well he's not a child anymore but he's got two Two little boys and now he's going to have a little girl they're going to have a little girl so that's nice for them they probably wouldn't have well, I suppose she has to she, they were, like I said they were getting married last May and it just went all haywire I don't know how many people they're going to have at the wedding but there's a lot of them can't go so I guess it's not I guess we're all in the there with them in, in whatever you know now Sonia you're going to have to work out what you're going to do for the top of this because it's not a, actually a it's a bag right so if you've got a bag you need to have a little drawstring of some sort okay you can't just do that Sonia <laughs> I'm not letting you <laughs> I'm going to make you do something else with it let me see will I put this onto here, yeah, why not? This is making a patchwork bag, sort of, isn't it? <laughs> but what, it's okay, you can put things together however you like. It's all up to you, it's your business, isn't it? Nobody's business but yours. I'm going to make that a little higher because um, I hope that's still in the shot, yeah, good. Uh, oh dear. So I'm going to get this piece and I'm going to put that onto there, right? Because I need a turnover for the top, okay? We're sewing a little bag. Okay. Not in the conventional way. <laughs> what have I done with me? Oh, here it is. It's not conventional, but it's going to be a vintage lace bag we're making, isn't it? Look, see? So if you can find yourself a nice piece of... Um, you know what that stuff's called, don't you? Because I've always forgotten this. I've got my sign up in front of me. I couldn't have cheesecloth. This might not... Yeah, this is a, an older piece that come off a curtain or something, I think. I don't know. But it's um, if it's a piece of cheesecloth, so just line that up there. I better put a pin in, eh? So we go reasonably straight. 
piece of cheesecloth and we're going to come across here my mother used to sew her clothes by hand because she wanted a hand stitch even though she knew how to sew really well by you know what I'm looking at this lace thinking I hope I've got all them going the right way back and front uh, it's shabby now we're going to call it vintage and shabby so I'm obvious sorry but she'd sit down and sew her clothes by hand because she wanted something sewing to do she wanted some hand sewing to do my nana did lots of sewing too and I'm just doing stab stitches you know like you would if you were slow stitching we'll have to make ourselves some really nice bunch of little something to put on here won't we can't just go across here willy nilly do on this and not, not have something pretty on it when we've finished I've got some sitting there and it was just not what I was I didn't think I was going to use them to start with so we'll see what happens ok go across there like that and we've got all these pieces it doesn't matter if you can see the stitches because it's nearly the same colour as the lace anyway so we've got all them stitches on there and it just looks, you know, sewed together instead of you doing it like with a seam edge, you know I suppose you know what I'm saying anyway right, now I've got that so I need to cut that straight, don't I? where was my other bit? Is this what I'm putting on behind it? I'm thinking maybe I could save that. I oh, know I'm putting it behind it because it's got to be soft. It's got to be soft. I was going to save that piece and put a heavier piece of um, something like that behind there, but I don't think I will. I think I'll put this because I need to. I need to save it. Okay. So now for the sides. Like I said, this is not a conventional one. We're doing a because we don't want our. We need to have this bit on the bottom, right? So if you were making a bag or something, you would actually go and sew across there. But if we do that, we're going to miss out on having our frilly bit on the bottom, okay? So what we need to do is, I'm going to make sure this is straight and I'm going to pull a thread through it, out of it. And I've made sure that I've got plenty to, to uh, work with, plenty of um, fabric, like as far as up here, right? So if I, if I pull that thread out... Yeah, I can cut that across there then. Because that's easy to do. You can just carefully, so it doesn't break, pull that out. Then you can see here, I hope you can anyway, that you can just cut. Oh, right. So I can just cut across there now. Okay. Come off. Go across here. I've been looking for glassine bags to buy and can't find any so I've decided I'm going to give up because it's really starting to annoy me and they're um, I get it down in rabbit holes and don't like that when I'm going to look for things okay so that's straight that bit where are we is, that, is this it? I hope so oh, no, this is a straight bit here we're going to do the whole lot straight okay we're going to because we have to make sure now I'm going to cut trim this off down here so that you fray, fray it a bit and you can see where your line is okay so that's straight <sighs> excuse me I'm just <laughs> blowing the fluff off there so that's a straight line we hope this one here I hope you can see what I'm trying to do because it's very and this one here straight a little bit fray, we can fray it a bit nobody's, nobody's going to worry about that you can fray a bit, and now the top piece I might leave that just for a minute until I do the bottom and work out what I'm going to do with X so I'm going to get the flat that's the straight edge there, right so I've got my straight edge and I'm going to put it about there so so that that means if I sew along there I'm going to pick up all that um, and I'm not going to miss any of the, the frilly bit and then when you turn it over you still got that edge on the bottom okay I'll put a pin in that just for 
safety sake, hopefully I'll go straight with it. Make sure you got bits uh, like you know you got enough across here. Uh, I might have to move it over a tiny bit because I've got to make sure these edges are level and I've got enough lace to come across that. I don't. So I'm going to move this down a bit further to there. Right, now this be this bit here's balking us really bad because it's um because of the scallop on it. See how the that scallop's going down there, so I'm gonna have to cut this. Be careful because I don't want to cut the I didn't want to cut the cotton where I sewed across there, okay? Didn't want to cut that cotton off. So I've got that. If I just sat there and thought about what I was going to do, which I didn't have any idea when I started, I probably wouldn't have made that so it didn't end up that way on the edge, but that doesn't matter. It looks okay. That, like, that dippy down bit there. Oh, I need to get something to get all these frilly bits away. Now my cat's going to have a sing. <laughs> Song of his people, <laughs> he's out there singing to his trout or whatever. It's okay, poor old thing. He's, he does this when we go. He, Jeremy's outside mowing, and I mean, he's doing this, and he don't like being by himself. And and then if we're home, he'll go get in the bed. See, then he knows that we're in where we're supposed to be. He's not happy because he doesn't think we're in the right place. I suppose. Okay. Oh, and I'll go to the optometrist tomorrow, I'll be able to get some glasses and see something. I'll be able to see a little bit better, I hope. Okay, well, I won't be getting them tomorrow, but I'm going to get my eyes checked. I was putting that off. I had an appointment and I, I delayed that a bit. I'm a bit naughty, aren't I? But oh, I don't know. You've got, when you've got other things that you want to do, and you, and you and, well, the weather's really crap or something, so now I'm going to go in under here to start this. And I'm going to only use one strand of thread. And you're going to be able to see me stitches on the back, but I don't mind because I'm going to just make them nice and little, little even ones going across there. And you notice I didn't put the pin in it, so I better be careful what I'm doing here. Just stab stitch this across the bottom. We won't be able to put confetti in this because it'll fall out, but otherwise everything else should hold in there. <laughs> okay? Um, because we'll have, because these stitches, you know, things would fall through the hole if they're only small. Okay, so this is a really cool little bag that we're making. It's just a little, I suppose, is it? Let's have a look at my time. What's that say? I've still got plenty of time yet, Sonia. Plenty of time. <clears throat> now I'm going to end this off here because I'm going to do this, um, you know, so I can get it all right you can make it really you know messy if you want to <laughs> if you don't want to you know I'm gonna move them frilly bits we have all these frilly bits I haven't got a handle on my rolly thing but that's okay you don't need one do you and I hate it when I can't find the end because <sighs> it does happen to me Oh dear, it's here somewhere, I'm sure. There's a bit here, look at that. Let me go. Okay, right. There we are. That's better. <coughs> Mouthful of water. Oh, still in my drinking coffee. No, I'm finished the coffee. I'm having the water now. <laughs> okay. So let's do this bit here. Now, because this is very fine, this fabric, and that's the idea too. You want something you can see through. It looks looks good if you can see through it. I'm going to have to manoeuvre it in the right place here, and go and have it. Back looks good. Back looks good. I'll put it always down here a bit, and I can see what that's going on with that. This doesn't look too bad. I'm going to cut that a little bit off a bit short, I think. Now the side seams, uh, cut that down there, alright, is that good, that's nice and straight isn't it, I think that looks nice, and I'm just going to sew them, top sew them too because 
you know, it's like it doesn't matter if you can sit and the same with this side here. So you make sure I don't cut off my cotton from where I sewed my lace on. So there's that there. Where I joined my lace. A little bit there. That right. Oh no. I didn't cut that, did I? No, I don't want it to come undone. No, I do. Now I have to fix the top before I go any further. I have to make sure that this is um, level up here, okay? So we're going to, we can't get it, this is the lowest part, so we're going to have to use that bit, okay? We're going to have to go in here and take, lift this up, right? And go across there and cut this across this line. Okay, now we need to get this one and do the same thing, get it level with, with the piece. I'm going to start in the middle this time, hopefully I'll get it right, pull that through. So if you've got a piece of fine fabric like this it'll work really good, even the other will too, as long as it's even weave um, to make a, to pull a thread out so you can cut a straight line. Because this sort of thing is a bit wiggly, you know, if you want to cut a straight line, it's a bit all over the place. So now, we should be right. We should have that meat in there, and down the sides, and now we're going to sew this. Well, we're slow stitching this together, aren't we? Everybody's slow stitching, so we better, <laughs> might as well say that. We might as well say we're slow stitching this together, because we are. Let's slow stitch our bag together. <laughs> Hand sewing is really cool. Oh, you know, it's, well, I mean, you can do it on the machine and you can do it so that there's a way you can do it so your frill's still out there, but for people that haven't got a sewing machine, this is a way to make these nice little bags, I think. So I'm going to go in underneath here to, to come through because I don't want me not to be shown on the outside because it doesn't really matter that much. It's not going to be... Uh, a big issue and then I'll just come in about that far and stitch up here okay now I'm on the back and I'll probably need to go to and look at the front and make sure that I don't lift that up right I make sure I don't lift it up and so it ends I make sure I'm holding that down when I'm sewing it down okay because you don't want it to be going the other way It'll be sideways right okay So I started out, I was going to do something different <laughs> this morning. And then when I couldn't find the, well actually with the neat, when I couldn't find the neat, uh, that I had a pin cushion out there, I decided, I didn't even check that to see if it's right. Um, I decided that I'd come in here and do this. And then when I got in here, I thought, well, I was going to do something. And I got in here and I thought, well, I'm going to do one of these little bags today. So I might as well get used to come along and watch what we're doing. I'll give you a measurement on it in a minute so you'll know how big it has to be. There's only one, only I'm doing with one strand of thread and I'm actually using embroidery thread because of the colour because I didn't have handy this sort of colour. I wanted something that was fairly close. You can still see the stitches. See, you can still see the stitches on there but it's um, now end this off really good here. I know. Go right to the end Go right to your end and go back in and do a couple of little stab stitches so you got it and then I'll come down a tiny bit here so it's going to end off there right over now this side Now I'm going to sew the top because this is just the way that um, I suppose I could sew the back. <laughs> I could start on the back. So when you're sewing, when you're doing something like going towards a closed space instead of an open space like this, you need to be careful that you don't push your work down that way. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You make sure you don't move your work. Hang on. I'll, I'll just 
get it like this and go like that, hold it in my hand, and hopefully that'll be right. Okay, so we're going to be right up at the top here. I've got a big father knot. Hiding him inside. That's not going to do me any good when I go to fix the top of it. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Do a couple of good stitches there. Because this is very fine and fray, you want to do a few stitches. And if you're ever sewing with lace, you probably, you know, you need to do a few back stitches to start with because it can just pull out real easy if you're sewing lace stuff. Especially if you're doing it by hand, it will. I've come in a tiny bit further than what I did on the other side because I've got a bit of fray there, but it doesn't matter. It's all working out good. And I've let go of this, but I, when I started it off, it should have, it should be right going all the way down there. It should be right. Push that over a bit. Okay. There's a knot there. I might want to push him in the inside if I can. Slowly tuck him under there a bit. Come back out there, you. Hope you can see what I'm doing here. There's some... Just going little stitches down here. Oh, well, not that little, but they are small. And end it off here. <coughs> Just make sure, give it a, I did that to make sure that it's straight, you know, like it's not gathering up because you don't want that to be gathering up, it won't be fun. But it doesn't look too bad, see, look, we've sewn it by hand and I like it. I think it's nice. It's primitive. <laughs> Maybe not, but it's really cool, eh? I like it. I've got to get this under here and cut it off. It won't come undone, because I've made sure of that. I've stitched it and stitched it, and I don't think it's going to come undone. Not unless, of course, you get it pulled apart purposely. It would, wouldn't be good. Okay, so now I need to make a little part to put a string in. And I can do that, but I want to make sure. I'm going to put the string just from one side to the other. So which way will I turn this? This way, turn it that way. I oh, know, but then you haven't. I oh, you have got this sewn up here. So let me see. I'm going to have to re. Oops! I cut the knot off. If I put it round like that, if I do that, I've got to have a place for the string to come out on the ends. Don't I? so I wouldn't have sewn that. In reality, I wouldn't have sewn that down um, inside here. We are in reality, Sonia. Uh, yeah. So the thing would be, to put the string coming out either end, you need to have this undone a bit, but I can't do that. So what I'm going to do when I do it, I'm going to cut a tiny little slit in there. And that's okay. Actually, I might have to do two... I was going to get it so it can draw through like that. You know, you've got two pieces of string either side and you just draw that through. But, you know, all good plans sometimes don't go that way, do they? They don't necessarily go the way you want them to. I guess I'm going to have to just do two little holes either side. Put the string through. So now I'm going to sew around here because I don't have any other... Um, bright ideas on that. I'm going to have to get another piece of thread before I start because I don't want to have to run out halfway through what I'm doing. So we'll do that and then we'll find something to use for a bit of string. Only a small something. We don't want nothing too, um, you know, way over the top there. Now if you wanted to, you could have left this, uh, you know, one of them rows of um, lace off there, but I don't think I, you know, I don't think I would have done. Um, I'm just threading my needle over here so I can see what I'm doing. Wait a minute. <laughs> it's not working for me, is it, really? Okay, come here. Right. There 
Me, come on, come on, you can do this. Got him. Right. Well, maybe not. What have I done? Oh, something else rolling up there with it. <clears throat> now, maybe I should have turned my top bit over first. I don't know what I would have done because this is just how we're constructing this little bag today, isn't it? And I'm going to make sure that I've got this um, part together. You're probably just picking up fluff everywhere here. It's got nothing to do with what we're doing. Not a thing to do with what we're doing. Come here. Right out. <clears throat> I don't know. Let me see. What have we got? Extra pieces of string everywhere. So I'm going to sew around here, but I might have to go up a little bit. Not right too close to the edge. And I'm just going to do straight stitch it. You can do, um, so as I'm bringing it down to where the top of the lace is, you can do some um, different sort of stitches if you want around here. You could do a blanket stitch around it, hold it up there or something if you wanted to. At this stage, this is what I'm, this is what I'm aiming for, what I'm doing in here, okay? This is what I'm aiming for, so this is what I wanted to do today. I may, might make a different couple later on. See how we go. I don't know what's going on with this needle. <sighs> Hang on a minute, everybody. I've, I must have sewed through my cotton. <laughs> sewed through my own cotton, did I? Or something like that. I've got some sort of mess here. Come and ravel you. Right, okay. Okay, there goes that. Mm. I'll stop that and I've got 10 minutes now. I should be able to finish it by then, I hope. Okay, right. So, if I've got that going particularly to the back, I think I will put it to the back. This seam here. I'll just come across here and keep doing it across this way. Oh dear. I hope you've been able to see what I'm doing. I think you might be able to because I think it was okay-ish. <laughs> Righto, keep going around here, Sonia. Around the other side here, keep going. Oh, I've just had an idea now. I've had an idea. A bright one. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work though. There's a knot in the end of this cotton. I was doing some silly looking thing to me. Okay. With the wind hitting the thing out there on the gutter, the tree, the tree, <laughs> the trees on the gutter, not the thing. A bit breezy. Jeremy might have to just cut a bit of that back a bit because he's, I don't know, everything's just growing flat out around here. And scraping on the roof. I had, I had, I had an idea, people. I had an idea. I have an idea. I do. I'm really excited too about how I figured out I'm going to fix it. <laughs> right. Now we go through there, and we're going to end that off. If I can pull it all the way through. What's going on here now? That was a bit of knotty cotton, wasn't it? It was a knotty bit of cotton. I got the knot out of it. Yeah, well, I can't believe my brother's 62. <laughs> He's my little brother. Yeah, so time just goes past on us, doesn't it? It just doesn't wait for nobody. It's just, oh, so fast. Time just goes past so quick. What am I, what am I doing here? Can I get that knot undone? I pulled it through there. Right. Okay, so that's got it. That's got that. Now, I know I'm envisioning what I can put in it. I've got an idea how I can fix this now. But I've got to find what it is, don't I? Just give me one second because I know what I want to use. All I've got to do is figure out what I've done with it. Okay. That shouldn't be too hard, though, because I'm not... Uh, I 
is he might work, although it's not long enough. It's something longer than that. That would look good. I might use this one here then. I'm going to use this here stuff, right, because it's a bit thick. Can't do a lot with it because, oh, well, you can, but it's a bit thick, so I'm going to get some pieces. Uh, we want three, you think? Three is nice. Three bits is good. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm going to have a mouthful of water <coughs> to fill up this glass. So I need to put that into a father type needle. I do need to put that into a father type needle. And that would be, you know, me, I would mean a great big one. <laughs> great big needle. Um, so I'm going to have to fish over here in the needle box. A draw, I should say. It won't be a minute. I'll just get something out, I hope. That one might do it. I don't think that you could do this with a, a thicker fabric. I don't think this is going to work with a thicker fabric, okay? Because what I'm going to do now, this is a tie, right? I'm actually going to put it through that. Here we, we better get a wriggle on so I can show you what I'm going to do with it. I wanted to do some decorating on it, so I might have to come back in a minute and do that another day or something. But I'll be still doing it in here now because I want to get something, I'm going to get finished. Right, so I've got that there like so. So I've put three pieces through this nice big needle. And we've got... Oh, right, Sonia, what are you thinking about? You're not, you're not thinking square, squarely straight. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking square. Okay, so this is going to be the piece that will go through the front. So what I need to do is make sure that I don't put this through any of the material. I want to make a hole through, make it so it's open, you know, open your material, your fabric bit. But I think I can do it with the needle, you know, make it so it's, it goes like that and then you can pull this through it. Righto. Because if you had thicker material you couldn't do this because it wouldn't work. So we're going to come back up through the back. I don't know if I've got any of the threads. I hope I haven't because I don't want to get it stuck or pull it apart or anything. So I'm going to go up through there. Back down in through here. Back through here. I can see that this is pretty open in this area that I'm going through. So you want to do a little stitches you don't want to make them too big because then when it closes when it pulls up it, you want it to look like that don't you okay so we're going to go so this would be um suitable to put in your journals and you could tuck it into a pocket or something eh you could or hang it in there somehow wait a minute don't go too fast on you you're getting excited now I know, it's good, looking good. I'm really pleased with how it's turning out. Really pleased with how it's turning out. Because when you don't do something beforehand, you don't know, do you, what the outcome's going to be. You don't know what's going to happen. So all I got was the three, three st strands of crochet thread, okay? And then I'm just going across in here, putting it through. Now, you mustn't do a back, back stitch <laughs> because that's not going to work. It's going to get stuck and go straight there and into the end bit, which would be 
this corner, right, right at me, right at me seam, right on the seam you want it to be. Okay, so that's there, and it works. Look, it pulls through. See? Well, it would if I kept going around. I don't know what I'm thinking about. Don't ask me what I'm thinking about because I thought I, I think I was going to go one way and one back the other, but I can't do that now. It's too late. Um, I'll take it right around and then you can just put do a drawstring thing on it, okay? Just one side. If you put one st a string going through one way and one back the other, which I can show you another day, you can actually pull it from either side. But I'm just going to do this now because for time's sake, we're running out of time and i got to thread this again now. Okay. Got to have to go and get new cards from your camera. And my computer, because they've got to make, they've got to work with both things, and I just need to fix that because when I go to put my videos up, it takes me ages to get the card to go into the camera properly. So it keeps on telling me, ah, oh, they can't see that. It's not there. It's not there. So they must. I don't know whether it's something wrong with my card or me, my computer, I should say. Even when I put it in the ca uh, camera too, it's doing the same thing. They say they can't read it, so it must be getting too old. It's probably had too many videos on it and off and taken it off and. Just doesn't want to work for me anymore. Got to work out what sort of got to go and get and figure that out and go and get one. Hey, me and hubby are going up the town tomorrow. He's coming with me, so we can have some lunch or something while we're out. But we're not real keen on that idea. We're not big on going out for lunch, so we might bring home a piece of fish or something. Okay, let's go. He said he'd like a pie, so that's what he's having, but I want a piece of fish. I do. I'm having a piece of fish and a scallop or something. I will. Scallops vegetables. <laughs> it's got a bit of potato in it. <laughs> ah, there. I'm not going to be stressing out about this anymore. Take everything off you when you get old, you're not eat nothing. Seems a bit mean to me. It might. Now yeah, I've got to work this out that I'm going to come up there. I want to go through there, back up, and then. No, it's got to come out here. So we're going to go down, up. Down up. I hope I can fit that in. Down. Up. I'm not going to do. I might. I will. I'll keep going until I do it. Won't I? Down. And then we can come up again. Up through here. There we go. How's that look? Now it's a little bit tight or snug to start with, but it won't stay like that if you when you, if you keep you moving it you know it'll come it'll work i need to pull that through so it doesn't there you go see look at that now you, i didn't make any holes sometimes you'd make holes and you'd put button stitch hole stitch around the holes but that shouldn't fray undone that should not fray undone so when you put in your put your nice piece of goodie in there and then you can close it up see or you can leave it open it doesn't really matter so we want to put, um, I'm going to leave these long strings on here and put a little knot in them because maybe I'll come back at some stage and put a, um, a bead. We might come back and put a bead on them or something. Don't know yet. So I won't cut them off too, too short yet. Yeah, we might be able to put some beads on them strings. Um, and so I wanted to do a nice little something on it. But I don't know whether I'd put that on there because I like that but I'm not, and I need to make something else that'll go on there that is handy. So I'm going to go now and I'm going to come back um, the next day or whatever and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it, I guess. So that's how you make a hand-sewn vintage goodie bag for your journal. Okay, so that's what it is. It's a hand-sewn goodie bag for the journal really cool and I would if it, when I'm well it is me but I'm going to I'd put it in the book and fasten it by the string okay with a pin or something and then you could put it in a pocket because I wouldn't want it to go anywhere so thank you everybody for watching and I hope this didn't cut out and I'll talk to you later bye bye